how do you say, old ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> <laughs>
you left. Actually, hey, who the devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cab. I said get out of here. Yeah. Damn French. <laughs> no. Quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. And that is part two. A few days later, you'll see a icon appear on the map of Saint Denis, and it is Mr. Chatney's uh, art exhibit, which turns out to be a very interesting event. Once you go to the icon, you have to walk up some steps, and then you will be at the exhibit. And it is a free exhibit, but it turns out interesting. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come asking for a refund. What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very... Progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Oh, and he won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. That's far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay. Look at these idiots. It's making me blush. Excuse me, Mr. Chardonnay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame. I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her... Delicate! <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you! That's it! Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I'm a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh! <laughs> I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right. Next time. Essentially, you will follow Mr. Chautenay and safeguard him like you are his bodyguard. And, well, let's just say it's an interesting conversation while he is walking away. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? 
You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a horn ass! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> If you thought part three was interesting, well, part four gets to be even more interesting. And you will meet Mr. Chatney, and you have to bodyguard him to get him out of the country. If you leave and return to St. Denis after several days, you'll see a white question mark icon, a stranger icon. And if you ride toward it, eventually you will meet Mr. Chatonet, and, well, it's kind of interesting. And he is definitely interesting. My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonet, the painter. <laughs> Okay, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! Well, as bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away, we will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis, they say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I won't miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men. I shot on that bar. Quick, behind here. In there. Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. We go through here. What's this? Quickly! <gasps> I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Oh. Now get moving, come on. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of brilliance. Not so much. And no kinds of dick. The hole in the bed. We go through there. Going, pretty lady. Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this way, to the edge of the docks. I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors 
on your cheek. But then I thought... Hush, Kate! I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint-Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse during not. With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that... Look at you, pretty little thing! Woo! I love boys. Come on. The sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <sighs> we made it. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. And there you have it. Uh, Mr. Morgan ends up getting a wanted level because he's looting strangers rather than... Uh, shooting them because the one guy had a knife and he brought it to the fight and I used a gun. No one objected to that, but hey, loot people. If you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button and feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, well, I post four videos a week and they involve video games. Right now, mainly Red Dead Redemption 2, but there are other video games. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon. You will not miss out. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.